Welcome to Oregon Dairy. Oregon Dairy is located just north and east of the downtown area of Lancaster City, and it's also between the town of Linus and Burdenhan. The day we visited Oregon Dairy, we had just come from the town of Burnham. It was a nice, easy 15 minute drive. You know you're in the right place when you go down this very long, basically driveway that takes you to the property. It looks like a road, but it pretty much is the driveway that leads you to the Oregon Dairy property. The next thing to note about Oregon Dairy is that it is a multifaceted company. It is a market, a nice grocery store. It is also a restaurant. There is an ice cream shop on property. There is a petting zoo, a playground. There is a dairy, of course, that started this whole thing. So we'll do a quick peek at the playground first, and then we'll go into the restaurant and look around, get the food reviews. Then we'll come back outside and look at the rest of the outdoor property, and then we'll do the grocery store review. So you have about three part review here, tour of the Oregon Dairy property. Hope you enjoy the video. So one of the best parts about this restaurant is all the activities they have year round, but even just along the restaurant, they have this really cool playground. Of course, it's January 7th and it just snowed yesterday, so today's not the best day for it, but you can bring your kids out here and they have a really fun playground. They also have goats in that little pen and deer and other animals in the bigger pen, so it's a great place for families to hang out. Anytime it's nice out, really. And they have this nice deck here with an ice cream shop just closed right now. It's called the Milk House. It's closed for the season, but this is a great area to hang out in the summertime, in the spring and the fall. It's really fun. I have lots of pictures of my kids playing on this playground when they were little. On this day, we entered the restaurant through the gift shop and market area. And so this is the view you see when you come into the restaurant from the market. Uh, the restrooms are right here on the left. There is a diner bar and some more booths to the right of me. As you can see, there's where we entered from the gift shop. And then right here to the right are the front doors. And that's the way you can come in when you park in the parking lot. They have seating here. And they have my favorite part is the woe sign as you're waiting for your table. Now, when we sat down at our table, we had this great view of the train that they have going around part of the restaurant. This is one of my favorite things about Oregon Dairy. So it's a pretty fun part of the experience here at Oregon Dairy. We were here on a Sunday. I want to show you the Sunday crowd and it was very crowded. It was full the whole time we were there. And it's because this is one of the only restaurants open on Sunday besides Miller's and I believe Casey Jones restaurant. So this is a good place to go on a Sunday when you're ready for some delicious Pennsylvania Dutch style food. Okay, here we have the buffet of Oregon Dairy. So there's one, two, three main areas for the food and then there's a dessert bar over here. Let's go see what they got. Western egg scramble, bacon, Western egg souffle, hash brown casserole and sausage, shit beef, waffles, beef fritters, French toast sticks, home fries, pancakes, biscuits, French toast, which is under here. And they have their tater tots, baked oatmeal, with sausage gravy. Pretty good looking breakfast buffet. More like salad stuff over here. And then the dessert bar. They have their donuts out here for the breakfast buffet. Cinnamon rolls and fruit. Typically, this is the dessert bar. The breakfast is like their pastry and fruit bar. Enjoy this look at the menu, and of course you can stop or skip or fast forward how you want to look at it, and then we'll get back to more of the review. I asked our waitress what were some of their more popular items, and funnily, liver and onions is one of their more popular dishes. She did not convince me to get it this day, but I will, I will go back and try it sometime and I'll give you a review. But also their chicken croquettes, their chicken and waffles, chicken pot pie, uh, those are some of their popular entrees. Um, but they have a lot of the typical ones you will find in Pennsylvania Dutch country. Here's what we're getting. Called Spotted PB Cow. <laughs> it's right up our alley. 
The ice cream is really good here. Yalaga Sundays. I'm also getting chip pie pie, kibbe pie, and the chocolate cake PBI. Okay, Dad got the breakfast buffet, so here's his plate. Scrambled eggs, hot filled bacon, biscuit with sausage gravy, some kind of a potato casserole. This is a scrapple. This is chippy. That's very good. Very, very good. Okay. And then I'm going to try the... I'm going to try the scrapple. Let's see what the scrapple tastes like. It's getting messed up with food. Good. Is it good? Yeah. 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 Yeah
milk based ice cream. It's delicious. We got the chocolate PBI, which is chocolate cake with fever icing, Obi pie, and chocolate pie. We'll try these later. And I'll let you know what we think. But I'm gonna take this, take a bite of this right now. Okay, this chocolate cake and paper icing is delicious. It's moist, <laughs> it's thick, and they make their own paper icing. It is so good. It's not too sweet. as just the right amount of peanut butter, so another home run on the dessert. <laughs> okay, so coffee's about 280. Crock pot, the pot pie was 49. Extra side was 299. The Sunday brunch is 17.99. Handball dinner was 14.49. And then the, our desserts were plentiful, so we had four desserts, so we could try them all. It was about $20 worth of dessert, so keep that in mind when you see that the bill was $72.94. But really, it was probably close to $50 for the actual food for three of us, including a buffet, which is pretty good. It was delicious, worth every single penny. Thank you. So I'm just going to walk it down a little bit farther show you more of this area. So as we look around more of the outdoor property and all the fun things there are out here, I'm going to give you some of the background and history of this place. So it was started by Mr. and Mrs. Earl Hurst. They bought this property back in 1952. And then in 1979, after raising 10 children, they did open their first small dairy store. Like many places in Lancaster County, it has evolved and changed over the years. In 1986, the cafeteria was added to the store. They enlarged the retail sales in 1988, and then in the spring of 1993, they made the cafeteria into a family restaurant. It's definitely one of those great stories of Lancaster County where it starts as one small family-run business and had and grew into this amazing property with lots of things to offer the community. Here's the backside of this playground. It's actually changed quite a bit <laughs> since I was here last. Just a, not, not quite a bit. It's changed a little bit since my kids were little, but... A lot of fun things there here to do. That digger's been here since at least for the past 10 years, I think so. Yet they actually fenced in this playground area. Interesting. I have some pictures I'm going to show you of right there. There was a place to sit along that tree. My mom will get pictures with the grandkids. So they kind of changed this area a little bit. There's like a little tiny chute maze you can go through. Your little kids can go through and out and around the silo slide. A lot of fun stuff. It's a really neat place. I love coming here for the kids when they were younger. I'm excited to be back again today. It's been a while. Oh, and they give you a whole little diagram here of <laughs> that's pretty cool. Look at that. All you need to know about how their digestive system works. Good for them. That's fun. Okay. A little free library. That's terrific. Okay. We're gonna walk up towards the market. Here are their hours. Okay. Let's see if I can find my parents. Produce side right here. Very clean. Oh my gosh, very nice. More produce, and I'll show you my favorite part. And the train going up here. Things I will not see in my hometown. Let me show you this thing. Ham loaf. I wish I could find that in my hometown, but nope. Alright, we're on the hunt for ham salad. We we're told to come to aisle 14, which is where we're at. Uh, see it. Go. 7.56. It's 
Small one is 449. We got a lot of their stuff here. Package up for us to grab easily, which is nice. They have a video here going on talking about the dairy, which is really cool. the refrigerated section and the fresh meat deli section which is right here. Go this way. There's some other options down this way. Connects the restaurant to the market. Lots of nice things in here. Pretty jewelry. Little back room back there. More stuff in it. And then here's the entrance to the restaurant. Okay, we're going to quickly talk about how we felt about our meal. You go first, Mom. Mom was fat. Fabulous. I mean, everything was good. The handballs were wonderful and nice and moist, and every everything was good. Potatoes, yep. the gravy, the salad. Dad, what did you think of your meal? I had the Sunday brunch buffet, and um, I didn't, I couldn't try everything because it was way too many. But everything I tried was delicious. Yeah. Chip beef, sausage gravy, um, cheesy cas hash brown casserole. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the eggs were good. Um, scrapple, you name it. Everything I tried was so excellent. Cool. Did you give it a 1 to 10? Uh, absolutely a 10. I was surprised, yeah. actually. Me too. Yeah. So I feel the way they do. It was a excellent meal. And we we went here often when the kids were little. And I always enjoyed it. I don't know if it's because I was distracted by my kids or wasn't paying attention or they got better. But it was extremely good. Like one of the best meals I've had in Lancaster County by far. The handballs were perfect. Honestly, I think they're better than burden hand, which most of you are going to be shocked I said that because you know how much I love burden hand, but it, the sauce, the way they put the sauce together with the handballs, it was just super delicious and just perfectly pineapple sauce flavor. So it was really good. And then the desserts were great. The ones that we had, the ice cream and the chocolate cake. Um, my stewed tomatoes and mac and cheese were perfect too. I loved every single part of that. So it was a delicious meal and I'm happily surprised and I would give this absolutely 10 out of 10. There was not one thing, the only thing I didn't like, which is my personal opinion, was the mashed potatoes. <laughs> but my mom really liked them because they're kind of chunky and I like them smooth. Besides that, it was perfect. All right, we are trying our desserts later at my mom and dad's house after leaving Oregon Dairy. So dad's trying to shoot fly pie. Mm -hmm. Mom just had shoe fly pie. What'd you think of it? It's okay. It's not as good as burden hands. No. But I'm trying this again because Burn. it's sinful. This <laughs> is amazing. This chocolate cake with paper icing is one of the best I've ever had. It is unbelievable. You can look at it yeah. and you can tell it's moist. Yep. It's it's really good. Super, super good. I had a little taste this earlier. I'm going to try it again. Shoe fly pie. Can I get some crumbs be, in there. It'd be better warmed. Absolutely, be, be better warmed. It's good. I would, I mean, I would give it like an eight, yeah. eight and a half out of ten. This is like a twenty out of ten. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try this now. I'll use my fork because I'm really picky about Wobby pies too. So we'll see. Mmm, not my favorite. Oh, it's very it's sweet. Maybe it's just too much icing. I don't know. Something about it was just, just okay. Thank you. It looks messy because we destroyed it, but it is very good. <laughs> so that is a wrap on our ordinary review. See ya.